but everyone just calls him Dr. X. He comes on the ward often. Does Usually his middle name start the with a Y? In the <laughs> I Get it? Because the really like initials him. would be X, but Y, Z. But you all sorts you know? of stories in a place like, like this. Like examine you know? your zipper I don't know what or last three anymore. letters of the all alphabet. All I know is he's been very friendly and supportive. Yes, no. Some doctors oh, fine. won't even say hello to you. But Dr. X usually stops and asks how I am. He knows I have some problems. He can Everybody has problems. I have problems. You have problems. Sessions. I think I yeah, you. The one watching the video. Yeah. What are they saying You about have problems. Him? I'm sure you okay. have problems. They say he's a big flirt. But it's okay. Nurses, cleaners, patients. You're not alone. He's if you okay. have a problem, you can come as talk to me. Skirt, I'm going to school for psychology. One knew, Linda. I heard they had an affair. And I like to Steve help people. Girl. Well, she left. And I never saw her again. Now, why do you think that is? Dr. X got her knocked up. They covered it up and quietly got rid of her. Probably paid her some money. I don't know how these things work, but it must have been enough to and shut her And that girl was up. a slut. I bet he'll be more careful now. But I can't really say a bad word about him, personally. Well, one thing. Maybe. Don't laugh, okay? Okay. What a weird smell. What do you uh. mean? He smells funny. I don't know. Maybe it's just bad aftershave. Or maybe it's something he eats. Oh. Thanks for the warning. I'll try not to get too close to him. Now that I think about it, there's something else, too. I'll tell you this, Susan. He starts talking to you, and you just open up and tell him everything. It's very odd. I don't exactly hide things from people. He's a good psychologist. He some really private stuff out of He's me. too good. Really I don't trust private. him. You know what I mean? Things I wouldn't I tell really him don't trust about. Him. And we haven't even started those sessions yet. So, be prepared for that. Sure. But it's a bit too late for me to hide how I feel now anyway. I think I made it very clear when I swallowed those pills. Uh, kind of. What about this daughter of mine? Daughter of mine. No, sorry, Susan. Apparently, she came in the ambulance with you. But then she remembered something else to go. I think someone mentioned she went in quite a hurry. Of course she did. She was worried I'd ask her what she was doing in my flat. Um, saving your life? Do I really have to give her a benefit of the doubt just because of that? One would assume so. That girl is a hero. Maybe real heroes always leave before their identity is revealed. Or she was a burglar, attempting to steal from me. Hmm. That's a possibility too. Have you got anything very precious in your flat? I have cats. Maybe. Maybe. Tell me All something right, tell me, more tell about, me more about yourself. yourself. Me? I'm a nobody. I'm just a hard-working girl. We all have to pay our bills somehow, right? I rent a room not far from here. There are two other girls living in the house. One is an auxiliary nurse, like me. She's always sick. The other one is a stripper. At least I think so. She's never home at night. <laughs> Maybe she works at night, like you. Yeah, but I don't leave for work wearing red stockings and heels, do I? No, you're right. You're a real nurse. Not some man's fantasy of one. I used to do all that for my boyfriend. You know, dress up as a sexy nurse and all. Well, I did it just once, really. He didn't like it that much. What like the fuck? That have that man's man card that removed. Ah. Of all the days ah. He never told I do the why, dick. But I don't care anymore. It's I'm okay. tired. Let me sleep now. Fine. How do you I'll not you like again. a fucking sexy nurse? How do you not like that? You. How do I know you're not one of them? You don't. But do oh. I really look like a bad person to you? I... Mm. I don't know. Maybe not. No, not really. Uh, I'll see you no. tonight. No? Okay. Remember what I said. 
Alrighty, I will. Dreams are just dreams. Yes, they when are. When they turn into nightmares, it's good to have someone there to pinch your arm and wake you up. Right? Unless you're one of my friends. I have a bad dream, you just punch me to shut me up. We'll start with a little chat about your childhood. I want you to be okay. as honest as possible. It's important okay, either, if we Dr. want Shrink. to get to the bottom of your problem. Count to ten right. and tell me when you're ready, Susan. Ah. One, two, three, four, five, six, seventy billion, two hundred thirty-seven, three and four quarters, ten. Nah. This isn't all about whether you're nuts or not, like we said before. It's about finding oh, what has caused how you're feeling now and creating a working solution. In order to achieve that, I need to get to know you better. Can we talk about you your childhood to know you better. first? Your parents, sure, why the when fuck you're not? a child, your life revolves around them. What was your father Dirt. like? Did you have a good relationship uh, with him? No, actually. I... I... I no, no, let's... I'm, I'm gonna answer these, uh, my own way. Yeah, no, yeah, yeah. He wasn't a good father to me. I had a bad father. He was a cold, and scary he's still man. here. Had this wall around him. I could never talk to him about anything. He wouldn't understand. He'd just punish me instead. Yep. Maybe it's his fault I got some wires crossed in my head. Because... He never loved me. I've always wondered what it feels like to have a loving dad. Maybe it's not too late to fix things between you two. It is. He's dead. Cancer. Six years ago. I see. But it isn't too late for you to put things right in your heart. Have you forgiven him? Hmm... Why would I? Nope. He doesn't deserve to be forgiven. All he did was make my life hell. He destroyed my childhood. He always made me sad. Yes, sad is the word. It's all true, Susan. But the anger you have kept in your heart all these years isn't doing you any good. My ear is itching again. Don't you think you would be a better, uh. stronger person if you could rise above it all? Aren't you becoming a bit like him, angry and bitter? Aren't those the things in him you hated most? My mind is already made up. I will never forgive that son of a bitch. I hope he burns in hell. Well, if you put it like that. Let's talk about your mother. I'll try to change my mind, Doctor. What I will say she like? right, fine, talk to my mom. Would you care to tell me about her? Sure. Yeah, my mom was awesome. I can't complain. My mum was great. She brought me up well. Me and her. We were like best friends. Like soulmates. We did everything together. She passed away pretty. seven years ago. When Dad first got diagnosed with cancer, it was too much for her. He kept pretending he was fine, but she just couldn't take it. Her heart gave up. She died quickly. My father kept fighting it. Another eight months of illness and intensive chemo finally beat him, though. He thought he was unbeatable, but he wasn't. Okay, I'm beginning to get a better picture. That's enough about your parents yours for now. Let's take two minutes, and we will talk about something else. Fine, what are we gonna talk about? Oh, oh, do I have control? I do. Wait, I need to get wait. out of this place. Oh. I hate hospitals. Besides, I really want to go home and forget all about this. Alright. What the hell is that? A band. It's a clip on hospital wristband. It's got my name, date of birth, and hospital number on it. Oh, okay. Um, oh, well, yeah. I don't fucking. Okay. Okay, there we go. Uh, I'm calling in a session here. Oh, 
Oh. Oops. <laughs> you didn't see that. Alrighty, so... Yep. Right there. So, uh... Thank you guys for joining me. Remember to like, favorite, share, subscribe to my videos. And I hope you guys are enjoying this, because I am. I'd like to keep doing this. So, uh, until then, I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.